hello and welcome back to another studio vlog for those of you who don't know my name is nicole also known as nikki creative i'm a full-time entrepreneur and visual artist based in the miami area so thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to just come chill with me and watch a little bit of my day-to-day I was looking back on my channel and I'm like, dang girl, you haven't uploaded a vlog in a while. And I asked myself why. I thought about it and I was like, hmm, I wanted my next video to be like me painting on a canvas or painting on my iPad, but I kind of never got around to it. Or at least got around to filming it. So I'm like, if they don't want to see that if I don't have a video of me doing those things to upload will they still be interested in just my day-to-day -day artist life and I told myself sure because I truly enjoy watching other artists studio vlogs like all the time so I'm kind of addicted to studio vlogs and they do the same repetitive thing so I'm like you know what they doing the same thing you trying to get your name out there in YouTube world it's already a shortage of black um, visual artists on YouTube. I can't say black creators, because there are quite a few, but as far as like black visual artists, to me there's a shortage. Because I've been on YouTube watching videos for a while, I have not seen a lot. So, that being said, I want to continue um, just putting content out, whether um, it's repetitive or Hey, this is my art life and this is what I do on a day-to-day -day, and hopefully I can inspire and also help other artists out there. So this vlog is just going to consist of me doing admin work and um, having some print issues, but there is one topic that I want to touch on and I'll talk about that later. Just the backing for fresh for what like two or three weeks three weeks and today we're doing the chicken sausage with the tony and it's been pretty good because it's helping us eat healthier even though this is a pasta dish this is like our first hello pasta dish but it has everything in here and we'll be back to show you the pasta
There's a little sneak peek of my little disc area, but this printer is the Design Jet T100. I get a ton. When I tell you, I get a ton of print questions, honey, on Instagram, child, all the same time. So I think I want to create a video just over the printing process. But this right here is me having paper jams. Um, this day was um, yesterday, June the 8th. Which was my brother's birthday rest in peace demetrius and i was having so many damn print issues like for real paper kept getting stuck um uh, mind you this paper is, is not the cheapest and when it gets stuck i have to constantly cut off extra pieces to make sure it's a clean um cut at the bottom so the paper is getting stuck things will print now i'm having like um issues with it crinkling up and i'm looking like do i need another cutter blade look into that i don't think i do because it just sliced another piece of paper perfectly so who child i love my printer honey i've had this printer for about a year now and um it's done me nothing but good i will say <laughs> my wife gifted it to me and it's been a blessing towards my business but these print issues be having your girl feeling a little insane i'm thinking about getting a second one I'm not sure if i get the same model but definitely a large format printer okay so i said i had something i want to talk about i'll try to talk about something like um a little advice in each vlog so today i want to talk about knowing your work as a visual artist okay i don't care if you're just starting off i'm like eight years in the game I don't care like what part you are in in your journey know your worth so this is a scenario this is like real life y'all I was going back and forth with this company to have my art licensed and I was like oh my god an amazing opportunity to have my art licensed the um, company reached out to me over a year ago we have been chatting for like over a year and they were like okay we love your art we found your Instagram, we're gonna license your work, it can be on Wayfair, it will be in Macy's, it will be in Nordstrom. And I don't wanna put the company's name out there, but those ads you see on Inst on Facebook, it's them. It's a legit company, but yeah. I was like, okay, so he was like, you upload your artwork, we approve it, it's a process, but basically you would get 8% of the money 
that you made off of a selling your artwork and i'm thinking like eight percent i'm like so i do the work on creating it and mind you this is their process um with the artists that they work with <sighs> and i couldn't wrap my head around eight percent y'all i'm sorry so i'm like hmm so i reached out to some artists a few artists that you might know on instagram who's in the same field as me as far as doing black art and who have also worked with this company and they were like oh you shouldn't do it um if you decide to do it start off with six images um and let them license six and they have two different licensing deals i'm not even gonna get into that but the deal that they offered me is um they wanted me to license 20 images and i'm like damn and sometimes it's just like it was something like um license 20 images and they even talked about getting exclusive rights meaning i wouldn't be able to sell the same prints and i'm only getting eight percent i'm like how i'm supposed to eat and survive it was insane so a lot of artists and i, w and I actually would be on a contract with them for two years so the artists i reached out to they were like you shouldn't do it or if you do it I, they're like well i did it and it was all right i can't wait to get out the contract people were just like it was okay so after a year of negotiating, he was like, well, I can raise it to 10%. I'm like, 10%? I'm like, this is my artwork. He's like, we got to pay to advertise. We have to pay the people to create the canvas. We have to um, pay to ship it. I understand that, but that leaves me with 8%. That's kind of crazy. Although he said he'll push for 10%. And this last week, I told him, like, thank you, but no thank you. I feel like what's for me is for me. And if God wants to lead me into those macy's and wayfair and nordstrom i feel like he will he will do that and i'm trusting in him to do that <sighs> that was a mouthful oh my god but i'm showing you these prints right now i have another story coming up but i'm waiting for the next print um to show because it has a lot to do with what i'm about to say <clears throat> excuse me so okay here's the print so i created this painting like a couple of years ago and i had a collector he had been collecting a lot of my artwork and he was like okay i want to purchase this one but i want to own exclusive rights to it meaning i want the original painting and you cannot make prints off of it and i'm like like i want a contract sign saying once i purchase it you can't make prints i'm like i'm like bye bye I'm like, I cannot do that. So you want to own the original and I cannot make friends to anywho. Anyway, I'm off, I'm off the track. But anyway, like I'm saying, know your words. So I turned down the deal with that company because 10% just wasn't cutting it. I'm sorry. And without this company, artists will not exist. So artists, beware of people who see your art, see your greatness, and they kind of want to start their side hustle off of it and profit from it just be careful i mean i know some a couple of artists who are in with the company and they tend to make a decent amount of money because of um just being with them for years and they're like one of the popular artists on their website but i'm just not down with it. i'm sorry i'm sorry so i actually applied for some things locally here in miami some galleries i didn't talk to anybody about it my wife knows but Hopefully I can get in and yeah, I'm just going to continue to work hard, continue to pray, continue just to be my creative self and just trust God in the process. As this video is coming to an end, I like to leave y'all with something that I've been working on. Um, you know, I like to leave you with something I've been working on. So here are a couple of illustrations that I worked on the past couple of weeks. And um, yeah, so here's one. 
I really like this one because of the color, the purple hair, the colors in her eyes. Here's another one that I created. I haven't posted this one on my Instagram. I posted it on Facebook. I really like the texture in her hair. And somebody said they love her lips, so. It's another one that I played around with. And finally, this is the last one. I don't think I'm gonna post this one. I'm actually still working on this one. And yeah, she got a little attitude, but ain't nothing wrong with that. And once again, thanks for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And make sure you subscribe.